today we're going to learn how to work with issues in DiffGram. So it's really easy to make an issue. Uh, one of the ways I can do it is right click on an annotation and say create issue. So I can say, for example, um, you know, not uh, aligning to expectations. Oops, and something, we can put something here. And you see it says, please select the instances to attach. So all I do is click the ones that are, that are relevant, say okay, and say create issue. And now you can see that we've got this, uh, this issue created here. Now, from the uh, annotator's perspective, that potentially might be it for the moment. But if I go back to the task list and I go to the discussions, you can see it's going to surface all of the discussions that are relevant uh, to this group of tasks. So if there get multiple ones that are created. And then if I zoom out even more and go to project and go to discuss, you can see here it removes the filter by default. So there's the example, um, you know, I, I can filter by the job that I was interested in or by status or date, etc. But it just defaults to showing all that's within the scope of that project. And if I click it, you'll see that it handily surfaces the related labels, which in this case is laptop and another, and the related annotations, tasks, and files. So I can simply click task, and this will take me straight to this task. Now I understand, of course, it seems kind of obvious right now because we're only dealing with one, right? But the assumption in this context is that we don't know which uh, task this is to do with. It could be any, any random task, right? So this gives a great way to uh, track different issues. As always, we are very open to your feedback, so please feel free to contact us on Slack or GitHub and connect with us. Uh, I think this can provide a lot of value and improve and align your machine learning and training data processes today, and we'd love to get more uh, feedback uh, from folks as you're using it. Thank you very much.